personal property goes missing. Good news, everybody. This is Asunkin from TGN, and this is episode two of Puppeteer. Today we're playing Act One, Curtain Two. Kutaro had obtained Calibrus, a legend repair. Let us continue our adventure. And here we go. Now, Curtain Two is a fair bit shorter than Curtain One, mostly because most of the tutorial Lovely stuff is Kuturo. gone. Suckered into stealing a set of sorcerer's scissors by the witch and stirring up a tyrant's rage. Now, all his hopes of escaping the castle were dashed, just as he himself dashed like mad to outrun the soldier grubs who wanted his head. Poor Kutaro. His only hopes now were Calibrus and a witch of most questionable character. What cruel tricks would fate play on him now? We're about to find out. You, you pussy footy wussy cat, where were you? I ought to fudge! Round is it can't be! Did you forget you sent us off in the first place? Yes, Calibrus chose him. Finally! Those legendary shears will cut right through the Moon Bear King's lackeys and set the Moon Rail free! Now, my brave young warrior, why don't you let Granny hold on to those for you? Right now, you wooden dogs! What was that for? Don't you tell me I'm not your type! Gotcha! You need either a heart as pure as the goddesses, or which is magic like the Grizz. But all you've got is an attitude. Oh, oh nuts! You keep Calabras. You'll take good care of it for me. I smell. That's the pungent stink of a scissor thief. Oh, General Tiger, sir. How kind of you to drop by to check on this here with me. Uh. Oh, I just don't know anything about a scissor thief, but if I see him, you'll be the first and last to know. And this egregiously foul odor must be witch stink. You are certain he's not here? Oh, yes, very certain, your Tagonets. I beg you, bring that scoundrel to justice, or I may not sleep a wink tonight. Ah, don't worry. My grubs will have this whole castle locked down in no time. the prison towers and making off with the knight's powers, now can we? Did you hear that, dear? Then get your hidey in gear! The tiger's tongue had slipped. Whatever powers this knight had, they were clearly important. Okay, we can finally start playing. That was a pretty long cutscene. Now, I know last time I cut out the cutscene, but I figured some of you are probably watching to see the cutscene. So I should probably keep them in there. Anyhow, I just totally messed up. False start. Let me try again. Here we go. So, using calipers. Remember, you press the direction you want to go, and square. Pretty darn easy. <laughs> now I didn't realize until today when I was checking on Wikipedia this game is actually a PS3 exclusive. A pretty good one at that. Uh. So here we are, we're just basically getting through the first little bit. Just getting used to the idea of cutting 
to move. Onward, he must climb. Here we go. Oh no! Oh, good. I found a secret. I forgot about this one. I played through this level already. Um, it's like a day or so ago. It was a little bit frustrating, but it worked out okay in the end. The main problem was the recording, the microphone wasn't working properly. Hopefully today's working great. I have, after you haven't tested it, I just reconnect everything the way it was yesterday and away I go. So, if it doesn't work, you're gonna hear me scream. Well, you won't, because it won't be working, but that's besides the point. As you may have noticed, so we're basically climbing up the tower now just to get to this uh, knight's treasure. The moment she marched him off to the throne room, she had already concocted a plan to take Calibris for herself. When that guy's talking, I feel kind of weird talking over him. I know it's a bit weird, but it's just like, you know, if he's talking, I shouldn't be rude and talk over him. I'll have to get over that somehow. Oh no. I don't think I did it fast enough. Let's try this again. Here we go. Faster, faster, faster. There we go. Oh. Ideally, I want to get over and go to this thing here. Anything else here? And onwards, Kudaro. Despite himself, Kudaro was growing excited. What kind of awesome power could this knight in the towers have anyway? Oh yeah. Let's check to see if there was something in there, but there wasn't. Looks kind of suspicious though, didn't it? So I have some long-term long listeners, watchers, viewers, whatever you like to call them, who've been watching my videos for a very long time. And I'd like to give them a special shout out. Uh, especially Kirby. Uh, Kirby is just an awesome guy. He does let's plays and walkthroughs of many, many games. Uh, hopefully you're already familiar with him. I'm gonna have an annotation link here in this video. Uh, so if you don't know, click the link and take a look. I see. Oh, 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 I don't want that. Come on, let him jump down. I missed the stupid head. So I actually want to get back down. But it doesn't think you can. Once you start on a scene, that's it. So don't do what I just did. I guess that's how I do as I say, not as I do. Sorry about that. Oh, I want to know what head that was too. Darn it. Guess I might be playing through this game yet again. So these scenes are, I don't know, they're kind of neat, but it's kind of weird that you don't really have any control on them, you just move forward. I like the fast pace of them, but I don't like the complete lack of control. But apparently you can choose another seam if you're riding along one you can just change direction which is kind of handy Kuturo sliced his way through flags vines, anything he could sink those scissors into you know this guy should learn not to talk when I'm talking how rude these scissors are pretty fantastic as you can see cut and fly you know, this part's pretty cool Basically, is cutting the bats to ride up on their backs. Higher and higher we go. That's the banana. I actually need a plant one. I'm guessing that's the one that I missed. Too bad, because I want to see what that was. Anyhow, this is not a walkthrough. This is a let's play. I usually do walkthroughs or, and tutorials. 
Um, but as I'm easing myself back into recording, I decided I should start with something a little simpler, and that would be a Let's Play. Let's Play is actually a lot more fun to record as you just play and comment and enjoy yourself. And that's all you really have to do. Record and then maybe some small editing and stuff and upload. Not too bad. Security was tight. The weaver patrolled the smoke ridden sky, swooping and slicing at anything that moved. Oh yeah. These towers not only defended the castle walls when the moon there. This is basically gonna end in a mini boss fight. fight. The second one I suppose, because we already had one mini boss fight. That was pretty simple. It might even be a mini mini boss compared to this one, I guess. I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm using Kudor on the background to, or not Kudor, the the uh, kitty cat, whatever his name is. Later converted the towering spires to a prison. To free these kids and turn topples and stuff. The prison towers. There we go. Is I think it's a bat head. The crushed forces of the moon god it is detained in his majesty's pleasure to starve oh. and generally suffer. Only their armor remains. To tell their terrible tale. I didn't know this existed until just now. What a handy little shortcut. I like it. I'm doing what's gonna take it. Now this is I gotta say a lot faster and better than the way I did this the first time I played this game. Played through this level. This is fantastic. Now, as you can see, using these calipers is a heck of a lot of fun. More fun than it really should be, perhaps. Oh, oh, another guy to free. Uh, I got back from work about 20 minutes ago. First thing I wanted to do was record my next episode. This is what I'm doing now. My day at work today was pretty good. Kind of intense. Can't really talk about it too much. I'm a software developer though. And I do work for TGN or BBTV. Depending on how you look at it. And I just love it. Probably the best place to work in the world. Being a software developer is actually a pretty good uh, job too, if you like that sort of thing. Which I do, I just love it. It's not quite as good as playing games, but in some ways it's more satisfying in that you produce something. However, there's room in my life for both. Okay, so this boss, as you can see, is pretty straightforward. You avoid his shot. Or his hits, his attacks, whatever you want to call them. And then you cut into him. Very similar to the last boss. I don't know if I did that right. Oh, I don't think I did. Let me redo that part. That's alright. I should have cut into him a lot more instead of going right for the bottom. But I thought maybe I saw something tricky by going right for the gears. I did not. That was a stupid move. Okay. I think now is my chance to hit him again. Yes it is. Oh. Free that guy while we're at it. So once again I'm using the cat to free the little kids. And hit other toggles and stuff. There we go. I think we have one more to go. The cat seems kind of excited about it too. So we want to jump this. Oh, oh, oh. Get your head back, get your head back. To keep your head is important in this game. If you lose it, make it your number one party, pick it back up. I was trying to do this without getting hit, but obviously I didn't do that now. You can call me later. Oh, 
I don't think I cut enough up. I took too long getting up there. Ooh, ooh. I didn't remember that attack. But now I'm being hit twice. I have to pick my head twice. Oh well, that's alright. This level's actually nearly done now, which is kind of good. The last level was way too long. At least as a video recording, let's play whatever it is. I like to keep them, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Anything longer than that. Seems too long for this day and age on YouTube, right? Maybe I'm wrong though. There we go. I think this is the last cut. There we go! He is destroyed. Oh right, after that last part. Oh no. So if you don't have anything to cut, the scissors don't keep working. Like that you can't fly unless you actually have materials to cut. So try and plot your your cuttings out. So that you don't run out of things to cut. Obviously I didn't follow my own advice there. But I'm going to figure myself as I just go back to work. <laughs> that's my excuse anyhow. That's it. Well, oh yeah, that's it. After the formidable adversary was vanquished, an old and scratched up shield appeared before Kuta. Oh yes. Could this now this shield, not just any shield. It's a magical shield. Are you shocked? I'm not. I feel a bit more comfortable with the commentary today. Yesterday I was really rough with it, I felt. It's been a long time since I did a video and commentary. And it just, you know, didn't come out properly. I was a bit frustrated from my recording problems. But let me know what you think. Am I doing the better today than yesterday? Any tips and hints? Clues? Anyhow, I think this is the end here. The end cutscene. He's going to find the night shield! How could he possibly know it was in there? Stop him! If Kutaro makes off with the shield, all the sun princess! Mark my growl! Growl! Rip that bit of moonstone right out of your mouth! Well, when I find that idiot who blabbed about the night in front of... <laughs> <laughs> Stupid cat, he's the one who blabbed. That's obviously the punchline at the end there, so if you didn't catch the first cutscene, that's why that scene was there. With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please be sure to catch the next episode. The curtain 3. It should be coming out tomorrow. But Tiger was hot on his heels. Where were the knight's powers? Who was this princess that had been locked up? And would Kutaro make it out of the Black Castle alive? Of course.